Yo, what's up everyone and welcome to another video. As you can see today, we are on a brand new game called My Salon. And if you haven't guessed it already, sure enough, this is very similar to games like My Store, My Restaurant, as well as Arcade Empire. As a matter of fact, it has a little bit of every single one of those games inside of this. And as I mentioned before, it is an extremely new game to the point where it's actually in beta right now. And just to give you guys a quick background on this, this is made by two separate developers from basically two separate games that you guys might be really familiar with the first one being piper which is the creator of power simulator and then the second one is flies which he is one of the developers of a really cool game that we covered here on the channel called b simulator so again this game is made by two extremely talented developers yo and huge shout out to sibilin i'm sure that you guys know who this is from my store one of the leaderboard players he's actually in this game with me right now checking this all out so let's head on over to my salon and let's get started on this first i kind of want to get the tutorial out of the way and then i'm gonna take you guys to the store so you could see some of the different items that can be purchased in this game now i know some of you are going to be like well this kind of has a really girly aspect and while i do kind of agree with you guys that was actually the very first thing that popped into my mind when i jumped onto this game but the more that i really thought about it it just really didn't matter to me i mean for the most part all of us really care about is the money flow and being on the leaderboards and this is a fresh new leaderboard for all of us to go after and i mean you know it's new content so anyways it says welcome to my salon let's learn how to style hair and make money first click the appliances tab of your inventory to place your two basic vanities so let's go ahead click on appliances down here basic vanity we have two of these and of course we got to make sure that we put these right in front of the door because you know we are uh, pros around here when it comes to this game so we know all the little secrets and it says good now click the furniture tab to place your basic salon tool directly in front of your vanity so we're going to click on furniture basic salon tool We'll rotate it and place it right over here and now next is telling us to go ahead and open up our appliances to grab the basic wash this is also going to be placed in front of another one of your vanities and then it specifically mentions all salon chairs and wash units need a vanity in front of them in order to serve customers so that's interesting and something that we have to keep in mind because if a vanity is not in front of these chairs then no customers will be able to sit there so again very important now it says click the open salon button and interact with the customers that come into your salon so let's go ahead and click on open salon here at the bottom right hand corner and it says interact with customers once they have sat to serve them whoa i am getting insane my restaurant flashbacks right now what is this how do i have hair clippings on the floor if we haven't even cut hair yet well that's another one of those aspects that are very similar to my store which is basically things are dropping down on the floor and as we collect them we get xp for this but anyways let's go ahead and sit down these customers there we go and it says level up level to reach you unlocked 230 bits and it looks like we got some new staff members there as well as hairstyles okay so hairstyles is more than likely what's going to be our products here dude this is really interesting to me because it's so mind-blowing to me how many different variations of these kind of like my store my restaurant and just basically the whole my genre and the amount of different topics that you could go ahead and make a game around it's absolutely mind-boggling to me anyways let's go ahead and interact with our customers that are sitting down we basically have to put this guy to wash his head and over here this girl is going to want her hair cut then as per usual we go ahead and wait for the timer to end customers will be done we will get our money and new customers will come in so now it says fantastic now you're ready to build the salon of your dreams to get better salon chairs wash units and decor head over to the store dude the store looks really really sick purchase staff to do tasks in your salon by pressing the staff button on the left okay pretty basic stuff everything that we know here all your staff can greet customers and clean but only stylists can cut hair and only shampooists can wash hair good luck will your salon be the best in the world i mean come on you know you're talking to garbage meister here come on eh? all right so as i was saying before we have a ui here on the left hand side and of course just as i mentioned before same exact concept here we have stylists on the left hand side which can be hired i'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these and grab one of these and then of course on the right hand side we have shampooists so what 
I think I'm gonna do for the time being right now because I'm noticing that the hairstylists actually pick up the hairs that spawn around the actual shop but the shampooists don't really seem to be doing oh actually I take that completely back so what we're gonna go ahead and do now is instead of having just two staff just kidding it's $450 I will not be buying another one but let's check out the rest of the UI that's going on here so we have shops which of course there's game passes you got buy bits buy boost perfect of course we have multiple floors that we can add to our salon that go all the way up to floor number 10 we have a pretty intense uh kind of setting section here i really really wish that a lot of these games would kind of add their cash per minute literally the moment that the game releases because i feel like that's a really important feature when it comes to a lot of these games so if for some miracle a developer is watching this uh definitely something that i recommend yo we got a vip customer our very first vip customer just went ahead and walked in and of course he looks the same as everywhere else now over here on the right hand side we do have a quest menu right now i currently have one out of eight of the cleanup hairs actually go ahead and make that two three and four but that'll go ahead and reward us with 100 bits now let's go ahead and step out of my salon so i can show you guys a little bit of what's going on out here for the most part the center of the map looks pretty incredible i'm not gonna lie it's kind of like a little park or something that's going on here there's a fountain in the middle with seats that your character can sit on and then over here on the front end there's kind of like a little gazebo with some more seats and then of course you have the giant statues for the leaderboard players on this side you have customer serve and then on this side you have levels which it looks like somebody is absolutely demolishing everybody because he's got the rights to both of the statues right now which is pretty crazy now over here we have most lifetime bits highest level and i'm assuming that this is customer served there is space for another leaderboard here but it seems to currently be empty right now so should be pretty interesting to see what they're going to add there but here we are this is the store and it looks like there's quite a bit going on in here now over on this side we have the vanities which are the kind of like mirror things that go in front of the chairs but for the most part everything seems to be somewhat of a reasonable price i mean even the most expensive vanity which is this one right here a deluxe vanity is only 750 so that's pretty interesting not gonna lie but over here these salon stools seem to be pretty expensive just the fourth one is already four thousand two hundred and fifty dollars and the final one is two hundred thousand that's insane same thing for the wash units it seems like they get really expensive i mean this one is 220k that's crazy man now of course there is themes in this game and it seriously blows my mind every single time that i see one of these games all of the themes are always named the exact same as the previous games like i mean regardless they, they still look very cool like this medieval one is uh uh, it's pretty sick but anyways we have medieval futuristic salon modern salon and then one for robux called a royal salon i don't know why man but i kind of like the cheapest one here which is this medieval it looks really really good of course over here on this side we have the different colored tiles there's even patterned ones which are pretty cool looking definitely kind of unique that they went ahead and went with patterned ones instead of solid color got ourselves a close and open sign over here you gotta always get the vip rope you know and then moving over to the opposite end you have kind of like a three bladed ceiling fan couple of chandeliers and lamps that you can hang oh no i'm having crazy my restaurant flashbacks right now these are all the premium furniture so you have the royal throne and the royal vanity i'm definitely getting royal chair and royal table flashbacks right now and it's giving me a headache but next to that, we have the princess throne and the princess vanity, a auto wash unit and a auto salon chair. Yo, we might have to get these. Apparently, these are for Robux, so I can't imagine that they're cheap and they're probably not something that you can just spam inside of your salon, but we'll definitely have a look at those later on in the video. And then over on this side, we kind of just have cosmetic stuff for the most part. It does say decorative everything, so just some cool little things if you guys wanted to decorate your salon, even though, you know, we don't do no decorating around here. Now we've ended entered the interesting part of the store this is basically all of the items that give you bonuses inside of your salon and i'm sure right off the bat you guys can predict what some of these do i mean the tip jar it's pretty self-explanatory a tip jar that makes vip customers one percent more likely to enter your salon actually that is not self-explanatory in my restaurant the tip jar actually gave you a little bit of a money boost whenever customers would come in they would drop money inside but i guess this is a little bit different a little unique and it isn't for robux you do pay this with 
in-game currency and you can only have a total of 10 of these inside of your salon behind that we have the gem case a majestic gem case that makes vip customers 2.5 percent more likely to enter your salon a limit of four of these and they cost half a million over on this side we have the golden hair stand which increases vip customers by 1.5 percent limiting you to a total of six of these and then the final one is the golden statue which increases the vip customers by five percent you can only have two of these inside of your salon and it's valued at one million dollars so yeah man pretty crazy there is quite a bit going on inside of this store but let's go ahead and head back to our salon here let's see what's going on we've accumulated so far one thousand four hundred and twenty six dollars which does mean that we have enough money right now to buy ourselves another staff the reason i want to do this is because i want them to be picking up all of the extra stuff even though we are going to go buy some more salon chairs as well as vanities which actually now that i'm thinking about it what's the difference between a shampooist and a hairstylist i mean as far as money goes right that customer gave me 29 dollars for cutting its hair how much is this guy gonna pay for cleaning the hair ten dollars and i feel like that's kind of a repeating thing so is it more beneficial for us to go ahead and fill up our salon with hairstylist instead of shampooist now i'm actually kind of curious yeah we ended up getting another 25 from that one let's see how much the shampooist is going to give us now really quick um ten dollars again i think that it's beneficial for us to go ahead and get some more hairstylists so let's go ahead and grab uh i don't know three of these for 450 and then we will grab obviously three vanities as well because we're going to need those and let's go ahead and place these right over here i don't actually know if this is going to work let me try placing down the chair now okay never mind that works perfectly so let's place a third vanity right next to that one we have one more chair as well there we go now we just need to go ahead and hire ourselves three more hairstylists so that we can keep that flowing as well obviously i won't have enough to buy all three of them so we're gonna grab ryan wait a couple minutes and then we'll be able to purchase Haley, and then a little bit after this afro man that's going on right down here all right so there we go we now have enough for Haley, and we also went ahead and unlocked marquise as well as Philip. so we're gonna need quite a bit of money to get marquise he's a thousand two hundred dollars all right so while i'm racking up a little bit of money here i figured you're able to come to the shop and go ahead and buy this royal salon mainly because it's not really gonna affect us in any type of way and i would really like for you guys to you know check it out if you want to see it for yourself maybe before you buy it if that's something that you're interested in so here we go it is 450 robux that's uh, a bit steep for something that's just cosmetic but there we go the theme has been purchased and i have it on my salon let's go check this out really quick oh wow it's actually really nice dude this looks pretty sick hold on let me look at it from the outside wow Wow, I actually really, really like this. Definitely really, really cool. But right now I'm at 2,800. So let's teleport back to the store here. We need to buy ourselves some more vanities. So three more of these and three more chairs. Also, I was just informed that apparently the vanities and maybe even the chairs don't really perform better the higher that they are. That's uh, kind of weird to add such a large variety of them and for them not to really give a bonus. I guess the only real thing to buy here would be these vanities and it's because they hold two customers but even still that really wouldn't be much of a difference than just getting two of these but wait now that i'm reading it a charming traditional vanity goes well with the cozy salon chair maybe they're not getting the bonus because they don't have it combined with the corresponding one maybe that's the reason why they're not getting the bonus keep in mind guys that we're all playing this really for the first time right now this is more kind of like an introduction video to the game so i am learning as i go with you but if you guys do enjoy this video and you end up dropping a like on it I'll definitely go ahead and make a follow-up video once I understand the game a little bit more and give you guys, you know, my traditional tips and tricks as well as what you guys should be doing. Now, according to one of my subscribers, the chair did indeed make it faster for them. So I'm going to buy one of these standard salon chairs and let's see exactly how much of a difference this makes. So let's go ahead and place down another vanity right here. Actually, I'll place down all three of them and then we will place right here in the middle one of these standard chairs. Let's see what happens. All right, so that's definitely making the time crazy faster. Both of these customers sat down at the same exact time this one's already done and this one over here is only just now getting done and i did get more money from that it was 30 dollars. so go ahead and ignore what i said before vanities don't give bonuses but the chairs as well as the washers do that definitely makes a lot more sense but anyways guys i went ahead and promised you that before we ended off this video i was going to go ahead and buy the auto salon chair as well as the auto wash unit just to kind of check and see what it is that these actually do so first i'm going to grab the auto salon chair 
here this is 429 robux buying a bunch of these would be actually insane i know there's going to be that one person out there that's probably going to buy a bunch of these but i will definitely not be that guy i'm just going to be getting one of these and i don't even know if it's worth it to be honest now let's come down here to the auto wash this is 399 again very crazy price but whatever for the sake of science you know oh this is really interesting okay so i already kind of messed up here obviously none of my customers are sitting at them because there's no vanity in front of them so let me place these down again except facing the way that i would normally do it and then let's head back to the store really quickly buy ourselves two vanities place those right in front and technically now customers should go ahead and sit down sure enough look at how fast that is literally three seconds paid seventy dollars and that was only the washer so let's see how much the actual hairstylist one does all right there we go we got our hairstylist one total of four seconds and paid us fifteen dollars so only really five dollars more than what it normally would definitely pretty interesting i'm most definitely going to be checking out the game more than likely for the rest of the day to try and you know get my stuff started and really understand the game maybe who knows potentially make a layout because that's my thing and my favorite part is is that there's people out there that hate that i make layouts and let me tell you i love it but anyways guys i hope that you enjoyed the video like i said before if you did make sure to drop a like on it it does help my content get out there and i would really really appreciate it but that's gonna go ahead and do it for today like always i will see you guys in the next one take care